Hi, I'm Brandon Grant, Sales and Marketing Director here at Quiltworks. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use favorites, folders and subfolders, and the workspace to more easily organize the items that you quote and sell from Eatalyze. We'll first start off with the favorites folders. Favorites folders are the My Favorites, which is specific to your logged in user. Only items in the My Favorites folder will only be available to view and select for that current logged in user. So this is a specific user folder. In addition to the My Favorites, we also have the Public Favorites. This allows you to share items from Eatalyze in a public location with any of the other users in your organization. This is where you should add items that you want other users or other reps to have access to when utilizing Eatalyze. Additionally, the favorites folders also allow for folders and subfolders for further organization. This allows you to organize your favorites folders by item category, product type, service type, manufacturer, really any way you want to, the possibilities are yours to decide. And finally, we have a workspace option as well. This is a great place to temporarily store items before adding them to your favorites. Each of these features that we're about to demonstrate are included automatically in your Eatalyze subscription. So let's get started. So to get started, go ahead and click on the products icon in your Quoteworks toolbar. This will open up the product lookup window. And on the left hand side, you'll see an Eatalyze item database if your Eatalyze subscription is active. Next to that database is an expand button, and if you click on it, this will actually show you the My Favorites and the Public Favorites and Workspace folders. So as we discussed in the intro, the My Favorites is where you store items that are specific to your user. Only the currently logged in user will be able to view any items that have been added to the My Favorites. Your Public Favorites are going to be items that are shared across multiple users, any of the users in your organization that have access to Eatalyze will be able to view these public favorite items. And then finally, the workspace is also going to be specific to your logged in user. This is where you can temporarily store those items while you're doing research for items to add to your favorites before you actually add them in any of your folders or subfolders. So if we go to Eatalyze and we wanna search for TV to add to our favorites, we can go ahead and click in the search for field and then start typing out what we're looking for. So in this example, we're gonna look for Samsung TV and click find. This will load up our results and we don't need a bunch of them. So we're just gonna go ahead and select a couple here. So the first one we find, if we wanted to add this to our favorites or to a specific folder in our favorites, simply right click on that item and you'll see there's an option that says associate one selected Eatalyze item with an Eatalyze favorites folder. So we'll go ahead and do that and it'll bring up the select folder window and we can choose if we wanna add it to the My Favorites or the Public Favorites. For our example, we're gonna go ahead and add it to the Public Favorites folder and then click OK. You should receive a confirmation that the item was associated with the Public Favorites folder and then you can simply click OK. If you wanna add multiple items at a time, simply hold control on your keyboard and you can select multiple items or deselect items, right click, and you'll see it'll tell you how many items you have selected, so in this case, three, and if you wanna add them to that folder, we can go ahead and click on that. And maybe this one we wanna to add to the My Favorites and then we'll click OK. And that will add those three items to the My Favorites folder instead. And we'll see our confirmation window appear. In addition to this, if you wanted to add your items to the workspace instead, simply right click on an item and you'll see there's an option that says add Eatalyze product to workspace. And when you click on that, that will add that to your workspace in Eatalyze. So it's very easy to find items in Eatalyze and then quickly add them to your My Favorites, Public Favorites, or your workspace folders. So let's click over to our Public Favorites folder. When you click on this folder, this will load any items that have been added to the Public Favorites. You'll see I have a variety of items, but no real organization. One of the really great features about Eatalyze is that you can set up folders and subfolders within the My Favorites and Public Favorites folders. So for example, if we sort by category here, you'll see we have keyboards, switch boxes, TVs, notebooks, and services. So we can go over to our Public Favorites, right click, and choose New. Maybe I wanna organize mine by category, so I'm gonna go ahead and add one for services and then click OK. 
and you'll see there's an expand button that becomes available. So there's now my services folder. And maybe I want to add another one for, we'll do one for notebooks and click OK. And then finally, we'll do one more for our switches and then click OK. So we have three folders currently. Now I can go to these items, so specifically my switches here. So we'll go ahead and we'll select our switches. And you can do these one at a time, or if you hold Control or Shift, you'll be able to multi-select these. And then simply right click, associate three selected items with an Edelize Favorites folder. So in this example, we want to add them to our switches folder. So we can see it has been expanded under our public favorites. Go ahead and click OK. And then we'll receive a confirmation message once they've been added to that public favorites. You should receive a confirmation message that lets you know that that had happened successfully and we'll click OK. So now if we click over to our switches folder, we'll see a list of any items that we've added. In this case, we have our three switches that we've included and they're now in our switches folder. So it just makes it really easy to organize any items that you're saving in your public favorites folder. So if we go back to our public favorites folder and maybe this time we want to go ahead and add the notebooks. So we'll select our notebooks here. And again, right click, associate two selected items, select notebooks, and then click OK. And the two items were associated with notebooks. And then if we go to notebooks just to double check. We'll see that our two items have been added there. And then finally, we'll do it one more time with our services just to make things a little easier on ourselves. So we'll select our services, right click, associate four items this time, select services, and then click OK. And this will add all four services to that services folder. Now, if you wanted to drill down further, if we go to our notebooks folder here and you said, you know what, I'd really like to separate the notebooks that we sell by manufacturer, we can do that too. So on the notebooks, if we right click and choose new, we can actually drill down even further. And for this example, we'll just say Lenovo and click OK. And that'll actually create a subfolder under our notebooks for the Lenovo. And I could do another one maybe for Dell. And, and finally, we'll do one more for Acer and click OK. This would now allow me to take any items that are in this notebooks folder and add them to the subfolder. So if I wanted to take these two items and select associate two selected Edelize items and say, let's drop them in that Lenovo folder and then click OK. Those items will now appear in my Lenovo folder. If you have these subfolders and we go back to our public favorites, and we're just going to select one of the items we already have just as an example. But if we right click and we say we wanted to add it, you can add it directly to the subfolder. You don't have to add it to the folder and then the subfolder. You do have the flexibility of just adding it to the immediate folder that you want to add. Since it's already in there, I don't need to add it there. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit cancel. So as you can see, very, very easy to do. And having these folders and subfolders just makes it that much easier to organize your items inside of QuoteWorks, especially if you are very heavily quoting out of Edelize, you can save these items. The My Favorites is gonna work the exact same way. So if we click over to the My Favorites, we'll see a list of all the items that are in the My Favorites folder. And same thing, if I wanted to create one maybe for, we'll do one for TV, since we have a TV in here, I could do TV. And maybe I want to do one specifically for Samsung's and click OK. We'll see our Samsung subfolder in there. And then I can go back to the My Favorites root folder. So we'll go ahead and select this Samsung TV and then choose associate one selected item. And we're just going to add it to our Samsung folder there and click OK. And then you'll see when the association is complete, you'll receive the confirmation message. So very easy to organize not only your My Favorites and also your Public Favorites folders. Finally, we wanna get into the workspace. So if we click over to the workspace, we'll see any items that we've added. The workspace is where you can temporarily hold items while you're doing research or while you're simply deciding if you're going to sell a particular item or not. When an item is in a workspace, You'll be able to compare items across each other. You'll be able to view the accessory spec sheet, just like it's in Edelize or in the My Favorites. It's just more of a temporary holding spot for these items. 
Once you've decided if you're going to use the item or keep it, you can again right click and choose if you want to associate it with one of the folders in your My Favorites or Public Favorites, or you have the option of removing it from the workspace as well if you're not and going to sell it. It's also what the icon up here will be for, is if you want to remove it from your workspace, you can simply click on the icon as well, and that'll remove it from the workspace and it'll no longer show up here. And that's it. It's that easy to add items and organize your various Eatalyze items in your Eatalyze My Favorites and Public Favorites folders, as well as take advantage of the workspace functionality. For more information, or if you have any additional questions, please feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for watching.